everyone, what's up? Marcos from Future Studio University here. Welcome to this getting started video on our happy series. In this video, you will get an overview on the happy web application framework and further, you will learn about some core features built within the happy framework itself. And I will tell you why we at Future Studio truly believe that happy is a great framework. It's a really solid foundation for your Node.js applications and yeah, you will of course build your own basic happy server within this tutorial. You will do the initial npm setup, add happy as a dependency, create your basic server, add a route, kick off the server and send a request to this small basic application. Yeah, and before we get started, you should know that you can find the tutorial for easy copy and pasting on the code snippets on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. Check it out. So there are many web application frameworks for Node.js out there. You know, there are Koa and Express and Sales and Restify. And of course, there's Happy in the big pond. And yeah, well, Happy is a really great framework because it has a built-in plugin system that allows you to isolate application logic into separate plugins and you can compose the application using multiple smaller plugins and you can assign responsibility for the individual functionality built within the plugins itself. And <coughs> Happy has a first class validation support and you can use the Joy validation framework to assign specific rules and you can validate the rules before the actual route handler is called and yeah it really spits the different logic for the validation before applying the actual processing of valid values. And you will see that throughout this video series. We will dive into all that in later videos. And another really great feature in Happy is the black box testing support. You have built in black box testing using the server inject and you can inject requests with specific route options to your server. And that makes it really easy to test the different application logic within your server. And it's, yeah, you will see that in a later video. It's a really great feature. So the happy core is reduced to a minimum. You need to add individual plugins to add functionality like view rendering with the vision plugin and to apply validation rules, you have to add the joy plugin. So there are a lot of plugins within the happy ecosystem. You can check it out, the Happy JS group on GitHub has a really large ecosystem of individual Happy plugins and they have first class support within the project and the framework itself. Okay, for this video series, we will have a GitHub repository with sample code. You can check it out, it's also in the description below. And yeah, you can walk through individual tutorials if you can't wait for the next video in the series, you can get a peek on the code. Okay, I guess it's enough theory for now. Let's start and build a sample project from scratch. You can use NPM, the Node Package Manager, to initialize the Node.js project and add dependencies to your application. So use NPM init to initialize a sample project or a new Node.js project and define a name for your application, we will just use getting started. We use the default version of 1.0, don't need a description. The entry point will be a server.js file. No, we don't have a test command. We don't want to connect the GitHub repository, no keywords. I will skip the author, set the MIT license. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I will jump to WebStorm, you can see that I've already opened the folder for the sample project. And you can see the package.json file that we have created previously. Okay, back to the terminal. Add happy as a dependency to your project using the npm install command. And we will save it so that will be automatically added to the package.json file. Okay, you can see happy was added as a dependency, which means we need to add our server.js file and can import 
the happy framework. All right, to create a new happy server, you have to call the new happy dot server. We don't add any options. We add a connection for the server. It's on host, local host. With port 3000. Okay, so when server to start, start, you can check if I never queued during the start procedure, just throw the error, else Log to the console that the server started at a specific port in the in the host. Okay, what you need to do is to add add routes to your server to accept to accept request. And let's fix this typo here. Okay. To add a route to your happy server, you use the server.route method. And for individual routes, you have to specify a method. We will use the HTTP method of get. You have to define a path. Just use the root path for now, and you have to implement a handler which is a function with two properties, the reply, the request and the reply interfaces. Okay, and within the handler, you do the actual request processing. So apply your logic within the handler and send the proper response for the incoming request. For now, we will just reply, hello, Future Studio, which is fine for the first basic happy server. Okay, let's review what we have done within the last minute. So at first you have to import the happy dependency and assign it to a variable. In this case, we call it happy. Then we created a new server property based on the new happy server. So you have an initial server that needs to add a connection where you need to add a connection on a given host and a given port. So we did that on localhost on port 3000. Afterwards, you have to add a route to accept requests and to drive traffic to your server. It's a simple get method on the root path and the handler just replies and sends the response, a simple string response of hello future studio. And ultimately just start the server. If an error queues during the start processing, throw the error to stop the actual start procedure. And if everything went smooth, just console log the connection details to the console. Okay, let's run our server. I'll use the debug mode and see if our server is listening on localhost 3000. Okay, let's see. All right, we got an answer. The expected Hello Future Studio response. Okay, great. Actually, that's it for now. You set up your basic Node.js sample project using the Node package manager, added happy as a dependency, created your basic simple happy server, added a route and send a request to the server. In future tutorials, we will show you how to add further or add more complex route handling and drive traffic to your server. And of course, we will look at how to render views so you can add your stylish and beautiful designs to use it with Happy. And thank you very much for watching the video. We truly appreciate you being around. If you learned something new, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos in the Happy series. Of course, we have Android videos as well. Check out the channel and have a fantastic day.
Enjoy coding and make it rock.